Hey everybody, Shep here. Today is Thursday, May 12th, and I'm doing a little bit of uh, garden work. I made a video of me disking my uh, garden that you saw me plowing, but my phone, basically my memory on my phone was full, and I didn't get as much video or do it as well as I would have liked. But now I've got a new phone, so hopefully... Uh, Hopefully the picture's better and I'll be able to, to do a lot more. So uh, I'm up here at my other two garden spots. I've got this one here, which part of it I planted in wheat in October. There's like a, I don't know, that's probably 12 foot wide spot of wheat. And then I've got my other garden over here. And so this I mulled plow in the fall when I planted the wheat. And then I ran over it with the cultivator. I think about this. It was the same day that I that moldboard plowed my other garden in the video you saw. So I did that. Now moldboard plowed this. Uh, it was several days after after I did that other one. And I disked both of them as well as that other garden that you saw in the other video. So <clears throat> what I'm doing today. Because it's been hot the last few days, and after I after I did the uh, plowing and, and disked everything, we got uh, inch and six tenths of rain, and it's just now dried out enough. I almost got out here yesterday, but it was it was still a little too wet. So what I'm doing today, I've got the tractor hooked to the cultivator, and uh, I've got these tines on the cultivator set. Yeah, they're several inches apart except the two in the middle. They're kind of wider. And I'm just ripping open the ground, kind of using it like a chisel plow. The um, uh, reason I'm doing that is just to help it help it dry out. Because if I do this today, it'll be it'll be dry, dry to disc tomorrow. So that's the plan. Um, I'm going to hit that with this. Tomorrow I'm going to try to disc everything. And then I'm going to try to plant gonna try to plant some stuff in the other garden I don't know don't know how much time I'll have I probably won't have as much time as I would like but at least I'm hoping to get my potatoes planted and some of my plants that I've started which I'm gonna make a separate video uh, probably later today after this one where I kind of show the plants that I've started that I might be planting in my garden this year so this really needs to be worked I don't know it's it it has dried up amazing compared to yesterday, but we got a bunch of bunch of little grass and stuff starting, so that's a good thing. You know, I'll be able to kill a lot of that. Of course, I won't get all of it. I'll go ahead and tell you the plans for this garden. So the first garden in my other video, that's going to be basically my vegetable garden, all of my all my normal garden vegetables, if you will. And this one, I've got wheat planted. And then here next to the wheat, I'm going to plant, I haven't made up my mind yet, four or six rows of grain sorghum. I grew grain sorghum last year for the first year, and it did pretty well. So I'm uh, I'm going to plant some more of that in part of this. And then the rest of this uh, space here, I'll be planting some uh, pumpkin plants. I'm waiting to see, once I plant the sorghum, how much space is left, depending on how many I do. Last year, I planted 75, but I don't think it'll be nearly that many this year. And then and then my, my big garden, this is the biggest one that I have, uh, this will be in field corn this year. It'll just be all in yellow field corn. So, that's what I had field corn in this one last year and then I basically last year had this one in wheat sorghum and pumpkin so that's my plan and uh, now I'm gonna stop talking and get some video of me uh, working some ground
I'm really surprised how uh, dry that ended up being. It was a lot drier than I thought. Uh, however, this other one over here, I decided against doing anything to it today because it's got it's got a couple wet spots. That that upper end of it is uh, that lays pretty wet and it's pretty wet up there now. And then there's a wet spot over here by the tractor. So I ain't honestly in that big of a hurry. Um, I don't think I could get corn planted before it rains. So today's Thursday. Um, supposed to, there's like a 50 or 60% chance of rain on Saturday night. So that's why I'm hoping tomorrow I'll be able to get a bunch of the garden planted. But I, I don't think, unless it don't do anything Saturday, there's no way that I could get all this uh all this planted but that's okay because it's still early last year last year was a pretty good spring and it stayed pretty dry and i had everything planted with the exception of my pumpkins i had everything planted uh by may 18th so that's that's really good for me um uh 2020 it was a pretty, pretty wet year, and this I had this in corn that year, and I didn't plant it till June twelfth. It wasn't dry enough. So, and then the year before that, nineteen, that was like one of the wettest, wettest years that I've ever seen in my area. And there's a lot of farmers. You you saw a lot of fields around here that didn't get planted. And I, I was going to plant this in corn that year, and I would have planted it all the way up until July 4th, but it never, it never got dry enough to. And that year, in fact, in that, that year, I didn't have anything planted until the, in the garden. I didn't have one plant set or seed planted until May 31st. So that was, that was just a terrible year. But, well... Now you kind of know what I've got going on. Like I said, I may try to plant the sorghums. It takes longer, so I'm going to try to get that planted here before I worry about this corn. And uh, obviously the vegetable garden's top priority. 